It was a silver finish for the male and female national teams at the Senior Caribbean Championships held last weekend in Kingston. They were not far away from securing a historic gold, but both contingents were upstaged by the Dominican Republic, who are touted to be the Caribbean powerhouses. A check in recent years was somewhat deja vu, in a summary of performances with them coming close but not crossing the final hurdle. Newsroom Sport inquired today from the players at a press conference about what they needed to do to ensure there's a change of fortunes for the championships next year in Guyana. Dominican Republic is considered the strongest team um, at, the at the championship. Uh, we, we tried our best against them. Um, I, I would say that we're pretty close because early in the year we had a similar kind of um, result against them. So um, it's just a little... Other things that we need to focus on more in training, and we should be able to overcome them from next year. That that'll be our main goal for next year. Is it incremental or is it more explosive? It's more it's more of um match readiness. Because as I said, I, you gave me an interview before we left, and I explained to you the position I, I was coming from, not having a lot of team work. So I was working a lot on mental, but the two goals hand in hand. So. Hopefully, in the next six months, we'll be able to correct that, get a more rigid training, sometimes um, more competition outside, and yeah, we'll be able to do it next year. Given the exposure that, that we've had during this year and how close we were to actually overcoming them this year, I, I think it's possible. Just with a little bit more push and readiness, readiness. I think mental, mental plays an important role that we, we actually forsake and if we were given that awareness during the match that, okay, I've been in this position before, this is the way I'm going to handle the situation. And for some of the players, when you've never been exposed to that, that circumstance, you end up just, just falling short. And I think as time goes by and you have the presence of mind within the match, I think anything is possible. Present of the Ghana Table Tennis Association, Godfrey Monroe explained they will be looking to put systems in place in order to give the team more exposure. We've been working twofold in the context of, you know, developing a mass program, looking at avenues for um, how we could best expose the players, looking at the team position in terms of, of, um, of giving them the requisite training and exposure. I could say we're a little deficient in the training side. And I think, you know, I think we could maximize our potential much more domestically training a little harder. The team recorded their best medal haul since 2009 in French Guyana. In Jamaica, they won two bronze in the female doubles, silver in the mixed doubles, two gold in under 21, compliments of Chelsea, Agile and Shimar Britain. This is in addition to the silver in the team events. The team was also represented by Joel Allen, Priscilla Greaves, Trenton Slow, Julian Blake and Nigel Bryan. For the newsroom, Akim Green.